Never downplay what you commit to. Oh, I was just doing that just to get through or get by. Never do or say this. This is self-sabotaging because that small job or act could be judged by a bigger job. If you commit to it, see it through with a hustler's excellence. In the same regard, never commit to what does not serve your interests. A hustler gravitates towards things that inspires their creativity. Anything else will be forced and poorly executed. Note, ownership does not have to apply to all business ventures. Some successful businesses are run off operating agreements by owners or partners. So when we speak of ownership, it's more geared toward you planting your flag and claiming your territory. This first starts in your mind, being that most people don't have control over their lives because they don't own their thoughts. It's important to know that the thought is the cause of it all. So having control of your mind gives you control of your creative thoughts. This is a lifelong meditative process. Once in alignment, a hustler will function with precision. Chapter 9. Mastery It takes 10,000 hours to achieve your master's degree and a split second to lose it all. A hustler's calling is to acquire self-actualization. It is the full realization of your intelligence, creativity, and social influence. It's also awareness of your abilities and limitations, such as your mind working against your goals if you are not in control of your emotions. Mastery can be a talent or skill that anyone can acquire through study and discipline. You will know that all things are possible, as it only takes will and drive. You will see that your projection of success is in everyone and everything that you touch. Comprehending every angle of your hustle and putting it into practice is mastery. I try to please everybody and keep them happy, but I'm spreading myself thin. Try not to let the devil in. Ascendance. I recently had a production deal where I stood to make 10K from connecting some entertainment friends together. I was totally fine with my share. After the deal was completed, I realized that through my leverage, I could have made up to 50K instead. It was not the money left on the table, so much as undermining myself as an indispensable asset. I kicked myself in the ass. I promised myself afterwards to always look ahead or live a life full of regrets. Straight talk. Your goals materialize when all elements within your being are functioning properly and in harmony. Do you ever recall times when it seems like everything is lining up perfectly or everything is working in your favor? It may be luck for some people, though with the hustler's mentality, it is less luck and more manifestation for those who practice alignment and balance. Winners attract wins. Take two magnets. They have two ends, north and south poles. When they are lined up in sequence, they attract. However, once they face one another, they repel. Same as if cars tailing each other in the same lane can cover miles. But turn one of those cars around, and it's a head-on collision. This is indicative of how the mind, body, and universe work. Focus on getting these three in alignment, and your world will change. Do these activities that balance the mind, spirit, and body daily. If you are too stressed, you run away from the check. The lack of gratitude limits your aptitude, and so on. You get the gist. Mastery is an accumulation of balanced components. Never seek out mastery, for you will never look up on it. It is better to work on balancing all areas of your life to stay in harmony with the universal frequencies to which you gravitate. Bag it up. To understand your environment and its elements in such a way as to manipulate power moves comes from ascension. Never depreciate your skills, least of all out of modesty or sparing of others' feelings. Some are born with the talent of mastery. Others must develop it. Either case, it's an aptitude for deeper understanding and greater achievements. As a hustler, at some point in your life, you realized your potential and brought it to fruition. Who you are is undeniable. What you do is exceptional. You are a hustler, a master of your hustle. Moving forward, trace your steps to see how you could have added more value or could have done it better. Take the time to reflect on your win to win easier next time. 
the victory is never over. Life is ever evolving. Our knowledge and our information must continually be upgraded in order to stay ahead of the game. Being current isn't good enough. A hustler must stay ahead of the curve. A hustler saying, true game is not something you can peep out while a person is running it on you. True game is when you make it home and realize that a person just got over on you, whether getting you out of time, energy, money, etc. Mastery is such an important plus pivotal part of a hustler's advantage and investment. A leader's sole position is to simplify things so all components can function at a level of excellent and perfect symmetry. To do something great is an achievement, though to continually do great things is considered awesome. To remain on top is far harder than becoming a one-time champion. Defending the title requires more work than it takes to just win the title. A sucker can luck up. The sun shines on the dog's ass every now and then. Though to hear those words, And still the champion requires a certain level of knowing your environment, overcoming the fear, and turning that fear into that hustler's aggression. That opens the door of opportunity to morally support the self-belief in you, which in turn builds the confidence that creates the clarity for the hustler to stand on what he says, plus on everything that he attaches himself to. The more you learn and apply these codes, the easier the execution becomes. You will have seen it all before. You will visualize things in your head before they play out in your life. I once zoned out in a studio session during a freestyle. It was as if I was in a time warp, as if the beat slowed down. I visually saw each word as I took and placed them in a perfect spot. This was the best freestyle session ever for me. I knew then what was possible. Self-mastery is equivalent to becoming a great chess player. Knowing life may respond like that if you move like this. I always applied the planting the seed method, especially in relationships. Isn't that what life's all about? Relationships? No matter who it is or what title. Every human interaction has the potential to develop into a relationship. Therefore, you need to plant seeds. Make sure to extend your hand or courtesy to relationships that you look forward to building. Learn how to nurture the relationship. This will by far be the most effective tool of the hustle codes. Relationships open the doors that millions of dollars can't. Remember this and take note of this. Whenever I'm introduced to someone who could potentially add value to me or vice versa, I like to think about what potential moves can be made on the board of life. It can be as simple as getting extra napkins or utensils because you know everyone will need them or offering a seat that is more suitable to the guests, especially if they're visiting. The smallest accommodations or gestures show your consideration, and people who value relationships take notice of this. I was once invited to a friend's photo shoot. I made sure he had water, behind-the-scenes footage, etc. This wasn't my job, but I saw it was a need, so I accommodated him. Never allow your pride to stop you from being a key piece of the puzzle. Remember. A strong leader quality is to simplify a task so that everything can flow smoothly. On many occasions, this has opened doors, garnering great opportunities for me. Never feel some type of way about being a boss, but playing the role of the door attendant. I have unintentionally left so many great impressions that people talk about how helpful I was when I was not around. What they say about you when you leave the room is what counts. I will get calls and invites or just plain interest or good comments from people who met me through friends. They will say things like, I like Tate. He's all right. He has great energy. He's down to earth. In reality, I was unconsciously planting the seeds for our next encounter or meeting, whereas everyone will be more welcoming. Show them that you're willing to be a team player and do whatever it takes. Learn it to treat others how you would like to be treated is mastery. Note, mastery also comes from a genuine place of gratitude. Recognizing that you have evolved and matured in an ecosystem where it's dog-eat-dog. Remember that mastery has moral obligations to respect life in all walks of life. Respect the lifestyles and opinions of others. As a hustler, these codes promote independence and individuality. My favorite slogan, Responsibility comes with being real. You have to stand in your truth, 
Stand on business. Don't just claim a title. Own whomever you are. At this stage, people should know exactly what they're getting if they ring your phone. Everything you do should represent exactly who you are as a person and a hustler. All of your working components must mesh well together so as to show consistent thinking, belief, and movement. Every moving part should function plus vibrate at a certain capacity. We are all one part of the whole. Equal is the human race. Equal is all living species. Life is truly for the living. Make sure your philosophy is synonymous with helping life evolve. Do your part. Your contribution starts with you. Then share with the world. Chapter 10. Conciliary. The sun never concerns itself with how bright it gets. Its rays are the proof. After mastering your hustle, you are in position to elevate others to tap into their inner hustler. Lend your expertise, especially to those you discern can use it for the betterment of their lives and surroundings, so that they may take the opportunity and gain ownership of their lives. That it may spread and inspire others to change their environment to a fair playing field for all hustlers. Gain personal satisfaction in knowing the hustle has been preserved. That's why we gotta keep balling. Let no man stop us or come between us making millions of dollars. Told my mama, yeah, I love you and I'm trying to make it for us. They got it loaded for me, I'm just trying to make it to it. I gotta keep balling, making these flips. I always knew that I would do it this big. Told my brother, man, let's get it. Told my team, we gon' make it. Told my blood, all the dirt that we did, I keep it safe. Shalom. I recently had a meeting with my partners in our CM Verde tequila brand. We were laughing about guys in our neighborhood back in Detroit. They were telling one of my partners that they saw him hanging with the guy who was always on that motivational shit. Me, Detroit King Tate. They were saying it in acknowledgement with respect. As we laughed and toast our future tequila endeavors, I told them, my plan is working, as my goal was to reinvent myself. Note. This is something we all have to continually do as hustlers. Seeing how the hustle is ever-evolving and how short the attention span of the masses is, with all of the social media training our minds to view everything in a minute's capacity. Being known as a gangster and a gangster rapper for years, it's a relief to be able to be known for motivating and inspiring people to better themselves in every aspect versus just promoting violence and getting money. There comes a point in life when the messenger has to evaluate the message that they're sending. In the state of hip-hop, where a mother raps about derogatory or degrading content, for example, fuck him then get his money, pussy ain't free, etc., sure, she has an epiphany and turns that shit off when her young daughter starts singing along. This is the sign of the hustle code morality actually hitting home. I can relate. Listening to some of my music has had a similar effect on me. Since shifting my environment mentally and physically, I no longer think or live in the conditions I did before, nor do I partake in or see most of the things I once did. Therefore, the bars in my songs are a little different. What was once a reality rap for me is now a reflection of how I used to live. In the chapter Fear, it breaks down how I once allowed fear of my environment to fuel thoughts of being killed or getting sentenced to life in prison for committing crimes which resulted in these following bars. I hear these niggas want to kill me. But tell them I ain't scared. I'm living. I ain't dead. I ain't right. The life I was living was dangerous and life-threatening. I really was transporting, smuggling, and selling drugs that could have landed me in prison with a life sentence. I'm so grateful I'm one of the blessed ones who has lived to talk about it. I served my prison time a total of 10 years out of my life. I'm fortunate to say that that life has been behind me for years now. Coming from being motivated to sell a kilo of drugs to being inspired and motivated to inspire others by sharing my story. This is an example of morality, opportunism, self-belief, confidence, aggression, and clarity at their finest. Having a moral epiphany made me take accountability to take that opportunity to better myself. Having the clarity to see the vision to get out of the game and off the streets. Believing in myself and confirming it with confidence by applying good aggression as the fuel to spread my thoughts, views, and experiences worldwide. 
People ask me what made me start speaking and what inspired me to change. My honest assessment is that I've always wanted more in life. Despite all the tragedies, losses, friends getting killed, heavy prison sentences, family grief, etc. Despite the downside, I was so accustomed to the lifestyle that I enjoyed the life I lived. Knowing that I was a silverback gorilla in the concrete jungle gave me a false sense of kingdom. Not only was I a boss, but being a great leader and a great earner earned me the name King Tape, and I owned it. The hustler's code, clarity, brought me here as a motivator. I realized that being an OG, original gangster, is status, holds respect, and gets you love and salutes. My vision is to actually flip the term OG, owning growth, officially grown, etc. We need to redefine the term and all that that position entails. How does an OG contribute to the youth and his community? There are far too many falsely claiming to be OGs nowadays. Age and survival cannot be the only components of being an OG. But that's another discussion for a future book. Straight talk. There's no better feeling than putting someone up on game, schooling them, or teaching them something. It's an honor to share what you learn when you know it will benefit others, and it takes nothing away from you at the same time. It's the saying, no harm, no foul. There is nothing new up under the sun, only different ways we may say, do, or present something. I learned as a rapper that we all are rapping the same or similar lyrics, though it's how clever you can say it that separates you as an artist. I actually applied this method to other business ventures and wherever else I could in my everyday life. This is putting your spin on a thing, adding your twist to it, or putting your sauce on it. It's the same thing as putting stamps on drugs. It's actually branding a product, letting the world know that this is your product, so they know what to expect. There were times when buyers would only purchase drugs if they had a certain stamp on them. Even if you had a product that was better quality, it didn't matter. They were sold on a certain stamp. It was really a mind game. I found myself losing sales due to this. As a hustler, I had to get creative. I recreated a device that allowed me to repackage the product and put the stamp the buyers were in love with on the product. Hey, can't blame me. Besides, I knew that my competition wasn't going to take me to court for copyright infringement. I had to get the people what they wanted. That was the past. I took some business strategies that I learned from the streets and applied them to legal business ventures. If you can build a name, you can brand a product. Branding a product goes further than just adding a stamp or a logo. It's the chemistry of the product. It's the difference between eating your mother's home-cooked meal opposed to a stranger's cooking. You are familiar with that taste. Truthfully, it may taste nasty to the majority, though it's what you are used to. Same thing with McDonald's fries. The taste of those fries speak for itself no matter how unhealthy they are. Learn how to do the same thing with your product or service. Put your sauce on it. Make sure that everything you touch or do reflects something about you. Now that's a bar for a future song. Bag it up. Each one teach one is the intention of true masters. This philosophy of a time-old adage is to not only share the information which you have learned, but also to preserve the teaching, the tradition, the culture, and the game, a.k.a. the hustle. A master is never game-conscious or fearful of the next protege or losing control. Instead, a master applies a moral aggressive approach to teaching what others try to sell or cuff. Masters do not hoard or profiteer the knowledge. They offer it to others so that they can also benefit and change their reality. Moving forward, the application of what a hustler learned is evident in the execution of his hustle. It's the passing along of knowledge or information through conversation, action, and or accomplishment. How much do you share what you've learned? Each one teach one is an idea I have for a nonprofit organization. As a hustler, I know that sharing is the necessity to keep the hustle alive. 2020 was a year for hustlers. It was the COVID-19 lockdown, which brought out the hustler in everyone. You had to tap into your resources to survive or thrive. 
As I sat back and watched the Black Lives Matter protest from my penthouse in Los Angeles, I saw many loopholes to where I profited nicely. This also became a time that I found it easiest to share my story and reinvent myself in the hip-hop and motivator space. I started speaking and posting daily on social media, building my following as a motivator. I saw a need for information to be shared now more than ever. People needed to hear some real talk after their lives had been shaken up. Four years later, my mission or my statement hasn't changed. Strange thing is, is that I've always been known as a gangster rapper, drug dealer, and street guy. Though now, people follow me for inspiration and motivation. A major key to staying sharp and on point is sharing what you've learned, which in turn strengthens what you know. Every time you share information, you recall and relearn the information until it becomes second nature, until you have it down packed or to a science, as if it's implanted into your brain. Practice sharing what you've learned on a daily basis. This makes you smarter, all the while teaching others. I hope you all learn how to tap into your hustler's mindset through these hustle codes. I enjoy writing and sharing these codes with you all. Be inspired and motivated to inspire and motivate others. Remember, self-improvement is the movement. I'm out. Years of survival putting plays down what happened to him fuck if I know Niggas that once was close, now nah, I keep one in the head, fuck Conversations ain't the same when they figure you dead broke, fuck I'ma live, carry on for my dead bros So far gone, but so close Lost souls, seeing ghosts Doors closed by themselves from the ghost Made most wanted from wanting it the most Toast up, the niggas toast We don't talk, we don't go Disrespect from your kids will hurt a nigga the most In the streets, love is rare When it's beef is never shared Been at war, I never cared Shit real, so severe I be lying if I say I never scared Been through it, did years Took tears, made millions I fought hard for my name Pressing up a new bag, new strain Clarifying on the line, we in the cannabis lane In case they listening Utilize a plug by positioning Learn your averages, make more shots You take more, cut ties if they vibes I'm happy and ungrateful I'm prideful, so many principles that I die for But equally I die for my people Just to live more Motivate myself to hustle harder Just to give more Fake plugs send threats Real plugs just send more I'm built for it Hundred other bitches, ten by ten swords Tell me what you wish for Which ones you love the most Be switching up on you Life is a bitch that I kill for. Kill, slide down, drop shit, hit licks, yeah. Yeah. bricks, yeah. Yeah. bricks, yeah. 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 And pain lies purpose. Hey. A man hey. with wealth, but poor habits is worthless. Yeah. It's a mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Can't live if you ain't died yet. Yeah. You don't know the happiness if you ain't cried yet. Yeah. When you really you turn, you turn your niggas up.